Good morning, Lakeside. This video is sponsored by Reliance Bank. I'm Sean Slatek. And I'm Alex Garner. Starting October 1st, every day, every day Monday 6 a.m., Wednesday 3.30 p.m., and Friday 6 a.m., uh, girls soccer preseasoning conditioning will begin. Dr. Coach Irwin in 209, room 209 for more information. Makeup pictures for seniors will be on October 30th. Girls will need a tube or tank top for drape pictures. Retakes require a $10 sitting fee. Go see Miss Davis for more details. Yearbooks will be on sale until November 16th for $45. After that date, prices will increase. See, uh, you go see Miss Davis or you go to Dawson's.com to order. Educators tomorrow meetings will start October 10th. If you haven't, you can still sign up for the Google Classroom. Go see Ms. Kennedy, Mr. Balcom, or Mr. Nixon for more details. The October Club team will be held at Geared starting at 6. The Lakeside Fishing Tournament will be October 21st at Lake Hamilton. Upcoming t-shirts will be available through this Friday. The Great Comfort t-shirts will be available for 20 or long sleeves for 25. You get an order from the Gold Duster during lunch. And now we have a new segment from Bethany and Haley. Honestly, it feels almost exactly the same as whenever I got in high school. Uh, just knowing that in six and seven months that I'll be leaving and actually going to start my life is kind of scary, but it's basically the same as whenever I got to high school. It's very nerve-wracking because there are a lot of pressures that come with senior year in college, especially with doing AP classes senior year. It's a lot of pressure also to have like grades and good GPA. Uh, it's definitely crazy thinking that you know, the year is about to be over. I'm about to head into college, so it's definitely uh, weird. Um, it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, I'm ready for college, really. That's about it. I'm just anxious to get out of here. The same. The same. Like you will feel like you feel now, as just just older. Yeah. Um, I'd have to say it's kind of weird because I don't feel like I'm about to leave, but then again, I am. I want to be able to graduate top 15%. That's one of my main goals I've had throughout high school. Uh, I've kind of slacked off my, my, my years, like 8th through 11th really, so I really want to graduate this year being a really good student and passing with all A's. Pull off the biggest prank ever. I'm seeing her prank next. Um, definitely the friends and like the teachers, you know, having that support from everybody. My friends, I'm not guaranteed to stay in contact with them, so could we miss having, you know, childhood fun with my friends. What's your um, being with all my friends and being able to see them every day, a lot of us out of my friend group are not going to the same college, so it's kind of sad, but I know we'll always like be together. I'm definitely going to miss the ladies. I'll miss the sports and enjoying the time with my friends. Probably being in the theater department, on into the theater department, and probably just the fine, fine arts in general, because I'm going to miss uh, being a band, I'm going to miss the fall plays, the spring musicals, and that's... I guess the people. No, like, most seniors are pretty cool here. The lunch. <laughs> Not at all, I will not miss that. Basically, it's just the work, probably. Just having to wake up every morning at 6 a.m. Homework. Uh, the all day, every day work. In college, I know classes are different to where you might have like one or two during the day, or some days you won't have certain classes. I definitely won't miss the people here. <laughs> the food. Yeah. How about all the flack I get from all the classes? <laughs> Um, fun. Exciting would be my word to describe senior year because of my future that is coming very soon and also like being able to enjoy this way more because I know I'm about to be done with high school. Tired. Yeah. Be interesting, as I would say. Interesting. Pretty eventful. Just eventful in one word. Exciting. Um, probably stressful. I applied to U of A and got accepted, so I'm planning on going there. UALR. I really don't know yet. 
Um, I'm waiting until baseball season rolls around, and I'm gonna make my plans from there. Hey, where Henderson are you staying? USC, South Carolina. I'm gonna attend Arkansas State University in Jonesboro. I'm planning on going to college at Henderson State University, and I'm going to go there for a Bachelor of Music Education, which is a fancy way of saying a band director. Now here's a new segment from Blaze and Sophia called Spill the Tea. Hi guys, and welcome to our new segment we like to call Spilling the Tea. I'm Blaze. And I'm Sophia, and the tea is piping hot today. Oh yes it is. <laughs> so, I think that we should talk about Cardi being arrested a few days ago. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, I don't really know how I feel about Cardi. She's a little bit of a baddie, isn't she? She is a baddie, but I think that it was a good thing because she owned up to her mistakes. That happened all the way back in August, and she admitted herself into the police department, which I think is a good thing to do if something happened like that. Oh, have you heard about Cardi and Nikki's fight? Okay, I think it's safe to say that everybody has heard about that fight. So, I am a Cardi fan, and I just, I don't know. I think there's a lot of drama in the rapping community. There's Anytime there's like more than one big female rapper on the charts, there's always some beef and I just think that it's always unnecessary. How do you feel? Um, I happen to disagree. I think I'm a Nikki Stan. You know, oh. she's just been in the business longer. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> 35 years to be exact. <laughs> well, exactly. Um, Cardi over here is just a little bit of a child, you know? Being a little sissy, coming after the queen of rap. Nikki. I don't know. Um, let's change the subject. Uh, do you remember that Catch Me Outside girl from Dr. Phil? Bad Baby, aka Daniel Bogoli? <laughs> yes, I do. Catch Me Outside, how about that? So what's she up to now? Well, she actually just dropped a new album about a week ago, and it's fire. Well, I've heard a lot about Shane Dawson's new series about yes. Jake Paul. Um, it's been causing a lot of controversy, mm -hmm. you know. Some people think it's a bad idea, some people think it's a good idea. What do you think? I think that his intentions are very good and that the series has the potential to be great. But I also have noticed that in a lot of his series, he always makes the people that he's interviewing seem like the good guy. And I don't know if I want that to happen with Jake Paul because he's, in my opinion, just not a good person. So I hope that this is real and not full of fake drama and we actually get some piping hot tea. Well, the tea was certainly piping hot today, wasn't it? Yes, it was, Sophia. And y'all can tune in next time for another segment of Spilling the Tea. Wow, well, that tea was pretty hot. Yes, it was. If you're interested in any clubs, check out the FCA. Now, here's a new segment by Max and Cole. And it really changed his life, it changed our family's life. And uh, we started going to church more often. For FCA, we usually meet in either Miss Newman's room or the old library. Uh, depending on whether or not the old library is available. And what we do is um, usually we'll have a speaker, uh, sometimes a student, sometimes a youth pastor from a local church, and we'll have them talk just about something that God's put on their heart for the lunch period. Uh, we'll usually start with like music in the background while people are coming in from the cafeteria, things like that. And it's really just us getting together uh, to learn more about God and things like that. FCA is a place where we can all fellowship and it says in the Bible that all of us are made differently. We're not supposed to all be the same person. So then you're supposed to be unique. So then it's just a place where all of us can just get along, talk, have a good time. And it's also a good quality fun. In the beginning of the year, we only had nine people. And then now we have around 78 to 80 members. I think that with things about FCA, especially with um, just Christian activities in the school, that, that um, it usually gets a bad rap for people who are like fake and like they act one way at FCA and at church and at home but then in the hallways they act a completely different way and I think it gets a bad rap and sometimes I'm even guilty of that myself and um, I think that because of that some people who are like genuinely wanting to know about God and stuff like that they just don't come because they don't find any point in it but um, also in the Bible, it says, do not forsake the assembling of the body. And I think that's really important that we just all get together and uh, learn more and things like that. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Sean Slater. I'm Alex Garner. And we'll see you next week.